Hey guys, yet another series on MuleSoft, but this time let's talk about more of a representational view, which is a graphical view. And in this time, when what I mean a graphical view is that obviously we are not going to build any web page, but it involves more of a logging. So what are we trying to achieve? Just look at the screen. You have your AnyPoint Studio deployed in your local machine or cloud hub anyone is fine then uh, there are logs that will generate obviously when you use logger component the logs will be generated correct we will take this log and deploy that in a not deploy represent that in a uh, graphical page called as kibana i mean like there's a lot of things that we can learn about kibana but this is where we are going to start and we are going to take the same log and we are going to Deploy in another, again, I'm not sure why I'm using the word deploy. We are going to display that in another page called as, another web page called Grafana. Grafana and Kibana. You feel like a brothers and sisters, kind of Grafana, Kibana. <laughs> the name itself also resonates in a way. Now, to do that, obviously, you need certain parameters. What are the parameters? First, someone has to read the logs. So, get that logs. Second, after reading the logs, someone has to take that logs and push it to Kibana and Grafana. So, a software where it will read the logs and an agent which will push the logs. Uh, you might ask that, why not Kibana itself can do that? Why not Grafana itself can do that? Y you can, you can. But since we have to cover a lot of topics, I think this is the best way to start. So, what do we need to do? So we need to first download Kibana, second Grafana, okay, and then third is Logstash, fourth is ELK, ELK, and yeah, I think this is a good start. Okay, this is going to be a good start, and let's see how we can proceed further with that. So the first part of the video is just going to download the software. So let's do that. Um, I'd say download, download Kibana, okay. And again, remember guys, we are in Windows machine. So whatever we are doing right now, we are all in Windows machine, Windows. And if you remember that, we have already spoken about WSL2. I, I think I'm in, almost in all the video I've, I've spoken about this, okay. So WSL2 is like a Linux on top of Windows, okay. Windows subsystem for Linux. So we are not trying to perform any activity here. They are trying to perform activity over here. So when you are trying to perform an activity in here and the WSL, then things are different. Okay. But we are we are trying to perform the activity in Windows. So do not get confused that. Okay. I, I, I'll, I'll install some software here. So automatically in Windows it should run. No. So see, th th there are questions what a lot of people might have uh, query on. You might say that, hey Manju, I am I'm in Windows. Okay. Here I am opening. Explorer, Windows Explorer, okay, Explorer, and here there's another operating system within Windows which is WSL, and that's Ubuntu. Yeah, I've, we, we, you know that we have we have worked on Ubuntu. So um, there are certain softwares and programs that I've run here. So will this automatically get compiled in Windows? Uh, will automatically this get get opened in Explorer? See, think about it guys here you are already running in different operating system which is linux it has its own set of features and functions to do it with so you cannot expect wsl2 a program written in wsl tool to automatically run in windows so you need to have a, a mode of connectivity i think these are all good concepts to cover but just be aware whether you are running in windows or in wsl so um, don't assume that don't, don't don't be in a fashion that you say that I'm going to install Kibana in WSL, whereas I'm going to learn uh, uh, install Logstash and uh, uh, ELK and Grafana in Windows, and all of them should connect in a way. No, it's like that's not going to happen. So the entire activity what we are going to perform is totally on Windows now. Okay, first step is um, Kibana. Let's get uh, let's get it started. And here, as you can see, Kibana. There you go. Download. So I'm in Windows, obviously select the Windows and should I download it by now? Okay, download. 
Um, yeah. Okay, cool. Kibana has started. So, almost like 500 MB. Okay, cool. The next is that um, download Kibana. Uh, yeah, see, it automatically shows log stash. Log stash download. Okay, log stash download. So, just uh, select the download button. Should start the download. And then uh, ELK. ELK download. Let's see. See, all of them are. Can you see this? E, can you see this logo? Okay. All of them inherit from the same elastic.io itself. See here. Uh, e, log stash. Um, Kibana. They all inherit from the same home product. Yeah, home product. So, obviously, that's the reason the connectivity works very well. So, um, what did we. Yeah, elastic. A download ELK. Um, download ELK stack for window. Elastic search. There you go. Elastic search. That's the one. Yeah, Elastic search. Okay. So, uh, let's get it downloaded. There you go. So, Kibana, Logstash, Elastic search, and finally download Grafana. <coughs> All right. Grafana is, is it comes from different uh, world altogether, but still we are anyways going to look at that. All right, so Grafana, um, this is the home page, and there you go. You should have a zip file though. Uh, navigate to Grafana download page. Let's go to Grafana download page, um, and here edition should be. It's not an enterprise. Okay, here you go. Select the Windows. Select the Windows and then you should have the either the installer or the zip file I, I i'll still go for the zip file um because i have the control of it so grafana enterprise so th th that's the four softwares you are going to pick it up with that what i want you to do is that unzip all of them and uh, place it in your c drive anywhere if possible place it in c drive okay um i'm gonna pause this video I'm going to unzip all of them and place it somewhere over in the C drive. Okay. Uh, be back in a minute. All right. <clears throat> now, what I've done, I've taken all of them and uh, kind of created a directory called logging within C and then placed all of them uh, so that I can have it under one roof. And what else? So, Let's start with Elastic, not Elastic Search. So I'm just going to rename all of them so that through the command prompt, the navigation becomes easier for me. Okay. And uh, let's start with uh, Grafana at the end. Uh, and I'm going to start with Log Stash or Elastic Search. Okay. Let's go to Elastic Search. And here, see, remember, under each folder, either Elastic Search or let me take parallel side by side this is nice actually see if i can bring it somewhere something like this okay this would be nice okay so i'm i'm trying to get all these softwares under the same tab so that you'll understand what i'm you'll, you'll get you'll get the gist of it give me a moment this is a cool feature actually in windows though okay um here under kibana log stash okay see here i am under the bin folder of all of it Okay, all the four folders I am under the bin directory. To start with Grafana, you need to execute this particular server. This command, this command, sorry, not server. Now to start with Kibana, obviously you need to start this. Use this command, kibana.bat. Okay, now to start with log stash, um, there should be something, yeah, here you go, log stash.bat. Okay. And finally, to start with Elasticsearch, you should have something here, Elasticsearch.bat. It should be. Um, not able to find it. Elasticservice.bat, is it? Um, yeah. There you go. It's in the second one itself. That's it. So now you know that if you have to bring up the server, what is that you need to run? But before that, guys, before that, hang on a sec. Let's go to config of each of them. Okay. Config. 
config um yeah i think that should be fine config and config okay let's start with the elastic search so click on this elastic search dot yaml yml let's see what what it has to offer so the first thing is that uh, elastic search let's scroll down and it says that let's uh, let's come uncomment this okay see path dot data what does it mean it says that path to the directory where to store the data okay so just uncomment that so that automatically this will create it for you but you can change it later as well so let me even uh, uncomment this as well path to log files okay so path to data path to log file which means the elastic search data will be residing over here the logs would be residing over here obviously you have a flexibility to change it and then scroll down okay and for, forget about the network host okay by default elastic search is only accessible on local host set a different address here to expose this node over the network now you know what when i when i take this elastic search and deploy our kubernetes this will come into picture but since i'm in local host which is in my windows machine this makes no significance so i'm going to leave it as it is but i'm going to uncomment this because i'm going to tell elastic search to run on 9200 okay 9200 so let's un uncomment this and that's your port so which means we go back here um local host 9200 yeah that, that's it it will obviously not run this is your elastic search okay we have not yet started and then discovery c dots eh, not required at this at this moment this is an example and this is let's check out the roles roles are empty which is good role mapping is also empty which is good okay now the elastic search configuration we have understood it all we are going to do is is that go to the command prompt here okay cmd and type elastic search dot bat bat okay this is what you're going to do and uh, i hope it should run let's see now let's go to our um grafana let's click on defaults dot ini let's see uh, what it has to offer um okay a lot of things to offer though okay so let's let's take the important one okay um okay path where grafana can store temporary files data okay so this obviously you can change it directory where grafana can store logs data slash log grafana's where plugins can be inserted this is the place okay yeah this, this is all fine this you would have understood by now this is all a temporary placeholders now the protocol is http and this runs in local host with the port 3000 and finally collectively it, pre it is preparing a final url so see protocol which is this guy that's the reason it's treating at runtime see percentage percentage runtime and then the domain uh, which is this guy and then the port this so you are feel feel free to change uh, the parameters the way you want okay and uh, let's see what else it has to offer it's talking about a lot of mysql oh boy so many things are there here uh, yeah it's it's too much too much to even talk in okay so let, let's leave this okay let's let's only set up these parameters at this moment and um and just wait for a moment so here it's time to bring up the grafana okay Look. go back to this step cmd cmd paste okay and then make sure that okay it's not in conf i'm sorry it's in bin okay and say grafana server dot txt now you know that actually it runs on local host 3000 okay let's just say enable allow this okay it should run on the local host 3000 because it's there in the configuration file okay so the server has come up okay the server has come up 
so let's see what's the password it should be admin and admin okay cool um never so i am going to change this change it as admin 123 hash at so it's asking for to change the password after you log in so the the default username and password is admin and admin as soon as you give admin and admin it is asking you to update the password so i'm going to update it so there you go i have successfully logged into your grafana portal now we'll go back to this guy local host 9000 uh, 9200 and right so here can you see this okay right something we are missing here okay elastic search uh, as soon as you have started with the elastic search what has happened um let's see let's scroll down this a little bit here uh or does it even make any sense okay now this this looks good let's scroll down scroll down scroll down and here mm this makes no sense this makes okay password password for the elastic user see this this is the password for the elastic user which means just make a copy of it okay just make a copy of it password for the elastic user go back and paste it somewhere over here okay i'll tell you what is the purpose of it then this is your certificate fingerprint take care of it I, that also i will tell you what's the purpose of it and then configure kibana to use this cluster see now we have run elastic search but is asking you to configure kibana okay it's asking you to configure kibana copy paste the enrollment token and paste it in your kibana browser valid for next 30 minutes only i'll tell you again what that means copy it copy it and then uh, i after that create an enrollment token and then restart your El- elastic search so it's saying then you restart your elastic search so once you have the kibana integration with all the username or the token then it's asking restart elastic search so at this moment there is no use control c that's it i'm closing this elastic search because i have to get kibana guys i have to get kibana grafana is done we need to get kibana elastic search is not yet done and then logstash before getting up kibana i want you to understand how to bring up logstash so in the next video we are going to look at how to get kibana and logstash working together until then take care and have a great learning see ya